Hi, I'm Dave, and this is WebStorm, the JetBrains IDE for JavaScript and TypeScript. In the next five minutes, I'll walk you through everything you need to know to get started. But spoiler, it's easier than you think, and WebStorm are hit differently right out of the box. When you open WebStorm for the first time, you'll be greeted by the welcome screen. This is the gateway to productivity. You'll see options for customizations, plugin installations, and learning resources. But let's skip the formalities for now and dive into what we're really here for. Productive, enjoyable development. To do that, we need a project. We have a few options. We can clone a repository from a VCS, open a project stored on our machines. You can even drag and drop them there or create a new project from scratch. If you're going with the new project route, don't worry, you don't have to start from zero. WebStorm offers pre-configured templates for Angular, Vue, React, and some other technologies. Or you can create an empty project, if you like. So now that we're in, let's take a quick tour. The first thing you'll notice is the project tool window on the left, displaying your project items along with their dependencies. If you need to find something quickly, just start typing to use the speed search. If you want to tweak how things behave, you can even set files to open with a single click. Along with the project window, you'll see a few other tool windows. We have the structure to navigate the structure of the individual files. We have the services to manage services like run configurations, app servers, and database sessions. We have the run tool window, which is useful for running scripts. Terminal, where, which comes as built in. And the problems tool window, which lists issues WebStorm detects in your code. Then we have version control. Uh, this deserves its own video, but just so you know, you've got the git and commit tool windows here to handle your VCS needs. If you need more tools, you can click on the three dots to access the rest. You can even drag these icons around to suit your workflow. At the top, you'll see the toolbar. And depending on your OS, it might look a little different. Mac users get colorful traffic lights and a menu bar, while on Windows and Linux, it's kept simple. And all the good stuff is hidden under these three lines. That said, let me show you a better way to navigate. But first, a quick rundown of the toolbar icon. You got the project widget, which quickly lets you switch between recent projects. You got a VCS widget, where you can manage branches, commit and update. Uh, the run configuration for running and debugging your files. Uh, code with me, uh, which is the pair programming remotely in real time. And search edge everywhere, which I'll go into in a minute and settings, which you can access key configuration options. So the search everywhere feature. You can get to this with double tap shift and this powerful search tool opens up. It lets you find anything from classes, files, symbols, text, or even ID settings. You can almost ignore the rest of the UI if you wanted to. To wrap up the UI tour, let's look at the bottom. Here you'll find navigation bar, which shows the position in your project carrot position, which tracks your cursor's location, line endings, encoding, column selection mode. You can customize these to fit your needs. A VCS branch and memory usage, also good to keep an eye on. Okay, now we're ready to do what we came here for, coding. To create a new file, just focus on the project tool window and hit Command N or Alt Insert. The new pop-up appears, letting you quickly create files and folders. You can even speed things up with live templates or postfix completion for boilerplate code. One neat feature is the auto-saving. The so WebStorm will remember your progress even if you forget to hit save. But I do recommend hitting save frequently. And while you're at it, why not add an action to run pretty run save? Keep your code looking sharp. Now speaking of sharp, WebStorm coding experience is top-notch local AI powered completion, and you can even drag and drop script files into your project, and it'll automatically create the necessary script tags for you. Another sweet feature is the built-in preview, which will give you instant visual feedback as you code, which is perfect for checking if that div is really centered. Finally, I know you're wondering how to get the idea vim plugin, or any plugin for that matter. For this, head to the JetBrains Marketplace, by the plugins options in the search everywhere. Search for the plugin you need, like IDEVIM, and install it. Boom! Now you've got Vim key bindings and a snazzy icon at the bottom. And that's it. You're now ready to start coding with WebStorm. If this video helped you, 
don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more tips. For deeper dives and advanced guides, check out the links below. Thanks for watching and happy coding.